Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, this morning I'm going to um, quickly show you how to um, treat a baseball cap um, with Aegis Guard 120 gigahertz um, radiation shielding compound. Very quick, very simple. Um, <laughs> forgive me if a cap comes into view because Puddy here is sat right under my camera and she's doing it to annoy me so hopefully she won't knock it over hey, come on put <laughs> there we go you just fill the sink up doesn't matter whether it's hot water or cold water i tend to use a bit of both And you fill it up with enough to completely cover the cap, enough to completely saturate the cap. Put the cap in. This is brand new, this cap. Um, so this will be the first time it's got wet. And the first thing you do is you make sure the cap is absolutely saturated. Um, squeezing it into the actual cover. I'm trying not to soak the um, cap peak too much because I don't know if it's cardboard under there or what. But it's a fairly good quality cap and this will be going out 15 quid once it's treated with a met piece badge on it. Okay, so that I would consider completely saturated. Come on, pads out of the way, mate. Come on, that's it. Take the Aegis Guard. This stuff. Available at uh, www.goagis.com. Start your search there. Don't bother looking at anything under 120 gigahertz for shielding, uh, radiation shielding protection. Um, start at 120 and go up from there. Uh, if the 360 is very expensive. It's three times the cost of the 120. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? Um, you only need half a teaspoon, half a level teaspoon for one small garment. In fact, it's a bit much there. There you go. So that's about half a level teaspoon. Straight into the water. Give it a swirl around until you can see that the uh, bicarbonate has dissolved. Put that somewhere dry and out of the cat's way. Pads. Cat goes back in. Knead it about under the water to get the fabric soaking up the compound that's now basically in the water. Yeah, I'll be happy that that's completely soaked. Then just go and hang it up on the line. And while I'm here, I may as well do um, do the other one. Um, now it does say with this compound, it's really tricky actually because you'd think you could probably just dump this one in and do. Um, the second hat in the same compound because the compound will still be in the water, right? Oh. Um, according to Aegis, this cap has to be completely saturated first um, before you put it in the compound, in the water with the compound in it. So um, with the jackets, I tend to take the jackets out, soak, to put them on the side, stick the compound in, stir it around, put the jackets back in, add a little bit more water, a 10 minute soak and a bit of a kneading under the water and it um it's fine so um yeah five minute job to do a quarter of a tea uh, sorry a half a half a level teaspoon and now what you've got is a wi-fi radiation shielded cap which will shield your head from cell tower radiation smart meter radiation um router um radiation 
and obviously 5G when it comes out. And what better part of your body to protect first? All for, uh, all for the sake of a quarter of a teaspoon of Aegis Guard 120. Yeah. You can get that direct from America. It is a, a bit of an issue because um, they charged, uh, or the, the government charged, uh, import duty on the uh, on the order that I put in, and it came to sixty odd quid. Um, and then Royal Mail wanted another eight quid handling fee, even though I paid shipping. The shipping itself for a pound of this stuff is about fifty five dollars. So when you add into the cost, I think the cost of a pound of it's about 196 quid, something like that. Um, so it is an expensive product to import, um, and it, but if you use it wisely, because when are you going to wash your baseball cap again? Uh, oh again, Aegis compound will wash out in a soap and water wash. So you really got to wash things that you wouldn't normally wash weekly or daily or even monthly. You know, and a baseball cap is one of those things. Um, same with the jackets. The jackets here, they are um, all washed in Aegis 120 gigahertz radiation shielding powder. Yeah? And because they're waterproof, on the outside, the water won't get through. It won't, it won't break down the molecular balance of the compound. The inside is fleece. That's where all the compound is um, is basically doing its shielding inside of the waterproof jacket so if you weren't to wash this if you did you know it, this as, as an outdoor coat shouldn't need washing so it's a, it's a steel uh, 25 quid for plus delivery at the moment and I'm only going to have about eight or nine of them left now I'm buying them up like crazy and I think I've cleaned out the country um, so they really will be limited edition limited to about 25 in the country um, those jackets with this baseball cap, you've got full upper body protection from uh, Wi-Fi radiation, 5G and uh, cell tower. If you're uh, a little bit sensitive to all that sort of stuff, you should buy some of this compound from America and you should treat some of your clothes with it and uh, see if it makes a difference. Well, thank you all for tuning in and don't forget, Aegis Guard, goagis.com.